Q, what's the best thing about Switzerland? Uh, I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. Q, why is England the wettest country? Uh, because so many kings and queens have been reigning there. Bob, holy crap, I just fell off a 50 feet ladder. Jim, oh my god, are you okay? Bob, yeah it's a good thing I fell off the first step. Q, what type of sandals do frogs wear? Uh, open toed. Mahatma Gandhi often walked barefoot which produced an impressive set of callus on his feet. He also ate very little, making him rather frail and with his odd diet he often suffered from bad breath. This made him a super calloused fragile mystic hexed with halitosis. Four men are in the hospital waiting room because their wives are having babies. A nurse approaches the first guy and says, Congratulations. You're the father of twins. That's odd answers the man. I work for the Minnesota twins. A nurse then yells the second man, congratulations. You're the father of triplets. That's weird answers the second man. I work for the 3M company. A nurse goes up to the third man saying, congratulations. You're the father of quadruplets. That's strange he answers. I work for the Four Seasons Hotel. The last man begins groaning and banging his head against the wall. What's wrong, the others ask. I work for Seven Up. Two little boys were known troublemakers, stealing everything they could get their hands, even from the church. One day a priest stopped one of the boys and asked, Where is God? The boy shrugged and the priest repeated, Where is God? The boy ran out of the cathedral crying to his home where he hid in a closet. Eventually his brother found him and asked, What's wrong? The crying boy replied, We're in trouble now. God is missing and they think we took him. Teacher, what is the chemical formula for water? Student, Hijkalmo dot. Teacher, what are you talking about? Student, yesterday you said it's H2O. Teacher, anyone who thinks he's stupid may stand up. Nobody stands up. Teacher, I'm sure there are some stupid students over here. Little Johnny stands up. Teacher, oh, Johnny you think you're stupid. Little Johnny, no I just feel bad that you're standing alone. If the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body, then lefties are the only ones in their right mind. How many snowboarders does it take to screw in a light bulb? 50, 3 to die trying, 1 to actually pull it off, and 46 other to say, man, I could do that. Q, how many politicians does it take to change a light bulb? A, uh, 2 one to change it and another one to change it back again. I went down the street to a 24-hour grocery store. When I got there, the guy was locking the front door. I said, hey. The sign says you're open 24 hours. He said, yes, but not in a row. A boy with a monkey on his shoulder was walking down the road when he passed a policeman who said, now, now young lad. I think you had better take that monkey the zoo. The next day, the boy was walking down the road with the monkey on his shoulder again, when he passed the same policeman. The policeman said, Hey there, I thought I told you to take that money to the zoo. The boy answered, I did. Today I'm taking him to the cinema. A priest, a minister, and a rabbi want to see who's best at his job. So they each go into the woods, find a bear, and attempt to convert it. Later they get together. The priest begins, when I found the bear, I read to him from the catechism and sprinkled him with holy water. Next week is his first communion. I found a bear by the stream says the minister, and preached God's holy word. The bear was so mesmerized that he let me baptize him. They both look down at the rabbi, 
who is lying on a gurney in a body cast. Looking back he says, maybe I shouldn't have started with the circumcision. Q, what do cats eat for breakfast? A, uh, mice crispies. Q, what did the big chimney say to the little chimney? A, uh, you're too young to smoke. Q, what do you get when you cross a fish and an elephant? A, uh, swimming trunks. Q, how do trees access the internet? A, uh, they log in. Q, what is the difference between a teacher and a train? A, uh, one says, spit out your gum and the other says, choo choo choo. A man walks out on his front porch one day and sees a gorilla in the tree on his front lawn. He calls animal control and about an hour later a man shows up with a ladder, a pit bull, and a shotgun. The animal control employee tells the man, I'm here to get the gorilla out of your tree. I'm going to use this ladder to climb up the tree and shake the branch the gorilla is on to knock him to the ground. The pit bull is trained to go after anything that falls from the tree and bites their balls which calms the animal down so I can put him in the truck. The man says OK, I see what the ladder and the pit bull are for but what is the shotgun for? The animal control employee says, oh, that's for you. In case I fall out of the tree instead of the gorilla. Man, hey baby, what's your sign? Woman, do not enter. Q, what happens once in a minute and twice in a moment but never in a decade? A, uh, the letter M. Q, what do clouds do when they become rich? A, uh, they make it rain. Why did the chicken cross the playground? To get to the other slide. There's a blonde and a brunette in a car. The brunette is driving while the blonde is in the passenger seat. They're going down a steep hill when the brunette realizes that the brakes don't work. The brunette tells the blonde that the brakes don't work and they will drive off the side of the cliff because they failed to stop. The blonde then replies, don't worry. There's a stop sign ahead. Q, did you hear about the man with a broken left arm and broken left leg? Oh, uh, don't worry he's alright now. At the doctor's office, Tom was getting a checkup. I have good news and bad news says the doctor. The good news is you have 24 hours left to live. Tom replies, that's the good news. Then the doctor says, the bad news is I should have told you that yesterday. Q. What is the color of the wind? A. Uh, blue. A little girl and her older brother were visiting their grandfather's farm. The older brother decided to play a trick on his younger sister. He told her that he discovered a man-eating chicken. The girl was frightened, and ran inside in fear. Then the older brother heard his little sister scream. He ran inside immediately. She was screaming at their grandfather, who was chowing down on a plate of fried chicken. What is it? He asked. The sister turned to him in fear and said it it's it's a man eating chicken. A man hasn't been feeling well, so he goes to his doctor for a complete checkup. Afterward, the doctor comes out with the results. I'm afraid I have some very bad news the doctor says. You're dying, and you don't have much time left. Oh, that's terrible. Says the man. How long have I got? Ten the doctor says sadly. Ten. The man asks. Ten what? Months. Weeks. What? Nine. A child goes to his father and asks, Father, how do parents think of names for their children? The father answers, Well, son, the night before the mother gives birth, the father goes into the woods and camps for the night. When he wakes the following morning, the first thing he sees is what he names his child, which is why your sister is named Soaring Eagle. Why do you ask, Bear Poop? Q. Why do Jewish mothers make great parole officers? A. Uh, 
they never let anyone finish a sentence. Q, why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? A, uh, because it's pointless. Q, how do you get 500 old cows in a barn? A, uh, put up a bingo sign. A man was driving and saw a truck stalled on the side of the highway that had 10 penguins standing next to it. The man pulled over and asked the truck driver if he needed any help. The truck driver replied, if you can take these penguins to the zoo while I wait for AAA that will be great. The man agreed and the penguins hopped into the back of his car. Two hours later, the trucker was back on the road again and decided to check on the penguins. He showed up at the zoo and they weren't there. He headed back into his truck and started driving around the town, looking for any sign of the penguins, the man, or his car. While driving past a movie theater, the truck driver spotted the guy walking out with the ten penguins. The truck driver yelled, What are you doing? You were supposed to take them to the zoo. The man replied, I did and then I had some extra money so I took them to go see a movie. Q, why is Peter Pan always flying? A, uh, because he never lands. A drunk walks into a bar with jumper cables around his neck. The bartender says, you can stay but don't try to start anything. An Amish husband, wife and son travel to the city on vacation. They visit a shopping mall and while the mother is shopping, the father and son are standing in or in front of an elevator having no idea what it is. As they watch, an elderly lady walks into the strange silver doors and the doors close. The father and son watch as the numbers go up, and then back down. When the doors open, a beautiful young woman walks out. The father leans over and whispers to the son, Son, go get your mother. For a period, Houdini used a trap door in every single show he did. I guess you could say it was a stage he was going through. Q, what do you call someone without a nose or a body? A, uh, nobody knows. Q, what is white when it's dirty and black when it's clean? A, uh, a chalkboard. What nails do carpenters hate to hit? A, uh, fingernails. A Spanish captain was walking on his ship when a soldier rushes to him and exclaims, an enemy ship is approaching us. The captain replies calmly, go get my red shirt. The soldier gets the shirt for the captain. The enemy ship comes in and heavy rounds of fire are exchanged. Finally, the Spaniards win. The soldier asks, congrats sir, but why the red shirt? The captain replies, if I got injured, my blood shouldn't be seen, as I didn't want my men to lose hope. Just then, another soldier runs up and says, Sir, we just spotted another 20 enemy ships. The captain calmly replies, Go bring my yellow pants. Q, why are hairdressers never late for work? A, uh, because they know all the shortcuts. Q, who is the poorest guy in the south? A, uh, the tooth fairy. Q, why did the old woman put roller skates on her rocking chair? A, uh, because she wanted to rock and roll. Paddy and Murphy are having a pint in the pub, when some scuba divers come on the TV. Paddy says, Murphy, why is it them deep sea divers always sit on the side of the boat with the air tanks on their backs, and fall backwards out of the boat? Murphy thinks for a minute then says, that's easy. It's cause if they fell forwards, they'd still be in the frigging boat.